Okay guys, <clears throat> just finished up the last spoon bit. Uh, this one's the Spark Man, Sparky Spoon Bit. <laughs> but uh, this will be the last one for this set of spoon bits that I'm going to make. Got to get back to making some pipes. And uh, <clears throat> I thought of a couple of things that I wanted to mention about these uh, to everybody that had got one. Uh, before I quit making them and while it was on my mind and it's 4.05 in the morning right now of course I had sleep attacks all dur during the daytime uh, so I wasn't sleepy so I wanted to try to get these knocked out while I was able to stay awake but uh, <clears throat> I'm going to reset the camera here in just a minute and uh, do a demo on this uh, spoon bit and talk about a couple of things uh, about these that uh, I wanted to mention before I or while it was on my mind before I quit making them. Okay one of the things I wanted to mention uh, <clears throat> for those that have already bought one of these I had different requests for different shank lengths on these and uh, <clears throat> this one of Sparky's is an inch and a half, which is what I've been making uh, all of them standard, unless somebody requests something different. But if your chuck, the depth, if the depth of your chuck isn't at least an inch and a half, in other words, if you've got <clears throat> part of the shank sticking out the end of the chuck, uh, I would highly recommend that you trim some of that off. Um, even a half of an inch sticking out of the shank, sticking out of the chuck. You know, the longer the bit, the less stable it is. And the more apt it is to uh, wobble, especially if your block is not centered. So, uh, <clears throat> I would highly recommend to all you guys, I know, I think a couple of them wanted their uh, shank to be made like an inch and three quarter or two inches and that's fine if your chuck is that deep but if your chuck's not that deep you know if you if you cut it off to where you get all of the shank up in the chuck you'll get a lot better result out of your spoon bit okay the second thing I wanted to mention I want everybody to remember <clears throat> that these are scrapers they don't have a sharp per se a sharp edge like a regular drill bit does so they cut differently than a regular drill bit does uh, that's the way they're designed to do and uh, <clears throat> Phil mentioned a, a very good point after he uh, used his uh, and Phil mentions this uh, a lot, Phil Rivera. I, I go, uh, just like Phil does, uh, I go a lot by what the machine sounds like and also the feel of the machine and, and the workpiece. And <clears throat> I wanted to mention these, because they're scrapers, they won't drill like a regular drill bit in that they won't feel like a regular drill bit does when you're drilling with them. So uh, if, if you're familiar with woodwork, done a lot of it, you'll understand what I'm saying and it'll make sense to you. If not, some of this may not make sense, but uh, <clears throat> it may take you a little bit to get used to it if you've never used one because they they do have a different feel to them. Uh, if any of you remember the old brace and bit, uh, wood auger bits, uh, it's kind of similar uh, to that uh, in, in as far as the feel of it goes. So they, they do feel different. Just wanted to make everybody aware of that. And uh, again, if you've got excess shank hanging out the end of the chuck, uh, chuck trim some of that off and it'll perform better. I want to try to keep these as short as as possible. The, the whole point 
of having the spoon bit uh, is for its rigid rig, <laughs> rigidity uh, so that you don't get all that wobble and you got a good clean hole drilled for your chamber. Okay, again, you can see that I've got a, uh, I believe this is a 7 16 pilot hole drilled in the end of my block. And uh, about to demo the spoon bit. And uh, I'll have to reset the camera to get it to where it won't be in my way. All right. Got the bit chucked up. I turn the lathe on, and hopefully you can hear the speed of the lathe. That's probably running around six to eight hundred RPM on the lathe. Again, these feel a little bit different because they cut different than a scraper. <clears throat> you should be getting ribbons or, or long shavings and not just dust like you would with a regular drill bit. Probably speed the lathe up a little bit more. Depends on how fast you want to drill. With pipe making, it doesn't pay to be in any hurry. Back it out. Clean the hole out, clean the dust off. You'll end up with a nice smooth chamber. Again, you don't want to rush it. You don't want your bit overheating. You don't want the spoon bit to overheat. And two, you don't want to get the wood hot. If the, if the bit starts getting hot, it gets the wood hot, vice versa. And uh, you could end up cracking. If you get it too hot, you could uh, end up cracking your pipe. So take your time drilling. <clears throat> And someone mentioned the other day, asked me uh, in an email uh, about using these in the tailstock like I'm doing. Uh, for some reason, people have got it in their mind. I don't know which of the big boys, I call them, <laughs> uh, have put it in people's head. But these were originally made for freehand drilling and that's perfectly all right uh, if you want to do freehand drilling these are the safe way to do it because they won't catch and grab like a regular drill bit will or a spade bit because they're a scraper type uh, bit but there's absolutely nothing wrong with chucking the spoon bit up in the tail tailstock and your drill chuck in the tailstock and using it this way. Absolutely nothing wrong with doing that. Uh, I wish people would quit telling other makers that you can't do that or you shouldn't do that because that's just bullshit. <laughs> Sorry, but it, it is. It's just bullshit. There's, there's no reason why you can't use it that way. Uh, if you want to turn it 
around the opposite way. I think uh, Jay Allen demonstrated his that way. But if you want to put the spoon bit in your lathe chuck, of course mine's on the wood chuck right now. Um, wouldn't wouldn't chuck up in this chuck. But if you're using a metal lathe and you want to chuck the bit up in the lathe chuck and <clears throat> use the tailstock to push your uh, pipe into the chuck uh, like Jay Allen demonstrated on his, then, then that's perfectly all right too. Basically, you can use it any way that you want to. They, they leave a, a very smooth chamber, and uh, they're a lot safer to use than the spoon bits, a lot more rigid. You don't get all the wobble, and you get a nice smooth chamber uh, with using these. This is a piece off the end of that block. I don't know how well it will show up but uh, in the camera. That's where I had uh, tested another bit that I made just a few minutes ago, and it was a, a tapered bit, so the bottom of that's kind of tapered. But hopefully you can see in the camera how smooth that is. Uh, I can't speak for other people's bits, spoon bits, but mine leave a a very smooth cut so it'll eliminate a lot of sanding if you go to a lot of trouble to sand your chambers after drilling them that'll eliminate a lot of work by using these spoon bits well thanks again for watching everybody and uh, I'm taking orders again for the spoon bits and this is the last one uh, Sparky of Sparky's Pipes gets this one and it's the last one I'm doing on, on this round uh, of orders. But uh, if anybody else is interested in one of my spoon bits, uh, the one I just demoed will be the last one for this round of bits. But uh, if you're interested, get with me either uh, PM on YouTube uh, or Facebook, TP Pipes, or uh, holler at somebody else that's already got one and they can uh, give you my contact info and uh, I'll be taking orders for the next round that I do of them but i uh, got to get a few pipes out for now uh, before I start back on spoon bits but hopefully it won't be too long till I'll be making some more of them. I've, I've already got several orders and uh, I'll try not to try not to let it be too long before I get back on those. But thanks for uh, watching everybody and uh, Appreciate all of you, and uh, everybody keep those pipes smoking.